Welcome, this is M-Dog, and here we are, playing Entropy again, and let's see what we can get into today. We've got our auger, let's see what modules we have loaded up, and let's check our cargo hold, it's not going to have much, and by not much, I mean it doesn't have anything, and we didn't leave much in our warehouse, so last time we played we made the mistake of um, basically having everything we owned in the cargo of our ship and we got destroyed by pirates and lost everything so what we're going to try to do right now is uh, actually try to collect some resources, mining resources, or maybe fight some pirates here in this uh, opening area. There's a pirate right there who's bound to come after us. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Is he chasing us or is he... I guess not. Well, we'll just keep going. We're going to kind of go and see if we can't find some some things to mine here and then go back and try to sell them. So last time we went to Ferrar, which ended up being a place of uh, death and destruction for us. So, so far we're not seeing anything here. What I'd like to do is earn some money and then start buying some better components for our ship. Might as well go ahead and put nice components on this ship because the nice thing about components in this game is you can actually move them from ship to ship. Alright, so we have a pirate killer mission, pirate killer mission. We don't have the mission. That is another thing we could try this play, this playthrough. Um, if we can find some things to mine here, maybe we'll go pick up one of the killing of pirate missions and uh, just give it a go. But um, we're certainly not going to do that with a bunch of things in our cargo hold. So I know there are places to mine here. Um, it's just a matter of finding them. We're getting close to the gate for fuel, which, uh, what is this? Faction guard, which we could see, let's see, fuel is, looks like yellow. We could, uh, we could try this just for fun. <clears throat> we don't have anything that um, would be too devastating if we lost, lost it. Alright, so fuel station is just north of here. Uh, north is probably a really awkward way to describe a direction in space. System B... B541 that's here that's red system M066 is also red so other than oh man I think I just double clicked on the wrong thing is it gonna start us <laughs> careful with those clicks Oh, it just logged us out. Okay. Might put us back at the station. Which station will it be, though? Hmm? Hmm? Fail station. All right. A failed trader is selling it for 425 a pop fuel. 
And our wallet consists of... Wait, that's objectives. That's not what we want. We want a wallet. 163,000. Thousand. It's interesting. This place does not have any... Um... modules or anything this seems like a pretty small station in the terms of their economy it means it probably would not be a good place or an ideal place to try to sell things but that's just a guess that could be totally incorrect all right let's go to <clears throat> the 2D map here and uh, we'll do a little flying around see if we can find anything interesting isn't that kind of weird that it plopped us out down here and here's the gate back to Aranav Aranev. All right, let's see what else we see around here before we head back. I don't know what this orange circle is. It's not a planet. That's also not a planet. That's also not a planet. Maybe those are things we need to check out. Let's go see what some of these things are. know for sure that they would attack but they could let's go see what this is is that a mining spot I don't know oh I guess that is a planet on the map it doesn't have its indicator okay interesting yeah people in chat are talking about Waiting for chat to be put into the game would be nice. Um, not chat, waiting for crafting to be put in, which will actually be nice. Pretty big system for a game like this to have crafting and help drive the economy. thief so that must be a, a different mission now if we had oh no okay that's a pirate scout he's thinking about coming after us he is coming after us and he is slowly gaining on us
You know... I wouldn't mind a little encounter here. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> uh, we just outran him. I guess we'll keep going then. What would be nice is to find something to mine. So I think what we're going to do is see how much, um, see if we can get the pirate mission to work here. Since we weren't able to find any mines. Um, any asteroids to mine. A lot of discussion in chat comparing this to EVE, I guess that only makes sense. Though I have not played EVE, I'm not really able to join that discussion. I'm assuming that the complexity is a good bit higher in EVE, obviously all the systems haven't been introduced into this game, but even after they are, I don't get the sense that this is going to have quite the level of complexity that Eve has, so I guess depending on what you prefer in terms of level of complexity, that would influence your comparison of the games. Um... Now I've heard that the combat is more interesting in this game than EVE, but again I don't know that firsthand at all. They've really decreased the loading times. Um, my understanding is that initially they were a good bit longer, a lot more intrusive. Alright, so what we wanted to do here is look at the mission board and uh, let's just take this first one then we'll go to our mission journal and track it we need to kill four pirates <coughs> so we'll go over to where the pirates usually are sort of floating around and uh, see if we can get one I've heard some players say that um, that just like the
Um, other mission was other missions. Some of them were a little buggy. I've heard one one or two people say that these are as well, but then I've heard another someone else in chat say no. You're able to complete it, but we'll see. We'll go to where it is telling us to go for the mission. Make sure we're on the right one and give it a try. See if we can even survive this since we don't really have any upgrades or a ship that's particularly good at combat. Now, you would think that would do it, but we're going to go to the one that it's showing us to go to. Now, Hannah... Hannah, I believe, is where we got all the rocks from. Okay, here's the one that's telling us to, to do that. So let's go back and do it. But Hannah, I think, is where we got the um, where where we did asteroid mining. So we'll have to check that out. All right. Here we go, folks. So from watching a very helpful video on combat in the community hub, and I wish I remembered the person's name so I could give him credit for it. Um, one of the things I've learned is you want to sort of come in, strafe, and use C, which shuts off your engine, and then you're able to, we're still a long way away, and uh, you're able to dodge some of those shots and also rotate a little more quickly on keeping the enemy within sight. So we're going to try that this time. So now that we're in range, they're going to be He's going to be seeing us. All right, so we'll start strafing. We cut our engines. At least we tried. And we're in pretty effective range here for our lasers. Oh, now we're getting shot by a lot of different areas here. All right, let's get moving here. We've lost all shields in the front. We did get credit for killing one. We're going to move our uh, shields to from the rear to the back here and see if we can get some action going here all right he's getting too far away so let's keep rotating here who's the closest he's going to be the closest so He's getting farther away. We might need to get a little closer to him here. See if we can take this one out. We're getting pretty close again. Oh man, he's close. Yeah, he's getting farther away again. Alright, our shields have regenerated. We're actually in pretty good shape right now. Yeah, we're strafing, we're sort of strafing here is really helping to dodge a lot of those shots that in the past we would have gotten hit by. Alright, so now we need to get a little energy back here. Is he 9,000 away? Oh, no, 900. Alright, wait for our energy to go back up a little bit. He's a little too far away. Alright. We really didn't do a good job of strafing that time, I don't think. Alright, let's let our energy build up. Whoa, we're taking some shots. There we go. Just one more, and we are getting credit for these kills, it appears. Alright. 
I'm trying to dodge some of these shots. We need our energy to build back up. Alright, let's try it here. Alright. Yeah, I think if we can just make a earn a little money and put some launchers on, we'll probably be in a much better position for combat. Yeah, we don't really want to be taking these shots full on like this. But because there's just one left and we've almost got him, we're going to just try to stay with him here. Very nice. All right, so now I'll go ahead and stop. We should have four ships to find wines and spirits. How about that? Machine parts. All right, so that's everything. So now, as soon as it lets us, we'll be able to exit out of here, and we're going to go check out Hannah. We've now completed that mission, so we should be able to... I suppose go back to the station as soon as we want to and um, see what we get for it well there is no mission journal mission in our mission journal right now which is interesting alright we're gonna go here and enter here I think our um, our mining cannon is still on our ship but let's make sure yes it is alright that is a pilot convoy faction guard Broken mind droid. We don't have our salvage beam, so I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with those things. Wait, what was that? Gases. Oh, there is a pirate here, it looked like. All right, let's get get on up in here and see if we can at least mine a little bit. What is that right there? Those are the good guys, I think. Just the convoy or whatever. Yeah, pirates about the same amount of distance away as the asteroid is. Asteroids a little closer, so we'll focus on that first. There's another one. Is that closer? Oh, they're all over the place. All right, here we go. It's 500. It's taken a while to mine this asteroid. <coughs> it did not usually take that long before. Okay, so there we go. Let's uh, keep our cargo hold 
right over here for now. I guess we could make it a little smaller. Possibly. Maybe not. Alright, let's keep that over there. So we got some ores there. It's not quite close enough. So we've got that one. Are we missing any back this way? Yeah, there's just a bunch here. There are a bunch of asteroids. Alright. And you sort of see the ore count going up. Um, looks like the common metals count also increased that time and possibly something else as well let's see ores is definitely going up <coughs> Rabiga station So Rabiga Station is asking for common chemicals. So you target it with R and then you use your mining uh, ability which in my, in my case it's attached to number one. So I just hit number one and it starts to mine. And uh, if you have your cargo hold up, you can just kind of watch as the ore or whatever else you get is brought in. And if we um, can find a salvage, oh, what's this right there? Raw gases. That might be what this is as well. No, that's ore. Now this may bring in different materials, let's see. Cargo hold is, cargo capacity is getting on up there. And something is being put in the cargo hold. Ores, I guess. Just getting more ore from that. So we'll do this just for a couple minutes more and then we'll go see what we can get for some of this that we have in our cargo hold now. So the news feed that you're seeing at the top shows us that if we took our common chemicals to Rabigia, Rabigia Station, we could get um, maybe top dollar for it.
and let's go mine something else here and then we'll pull up the map see if we can figure out where that is this looks like a nice big asteroid yeah so we hit C right then that cut our engine but we still continue to go the direction that we were traveling in and I believe the same speed and I don't know if you eventually slow down, I guess we could test that, but... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Let's look at this. Rabiga. Isn't that what it said? Something like that? Rabiga. Well, I don't know where it is, but apparently it is pretty far. Uh, which, if it's pretty far, we're probably not going to be going there just yet. We need to get some money and really improve our ship. Or get a new ship, one or the other. Are we still working on the same? Wow. Yeah, we're getting a lot of ore out of that one. That's amazing. Okay, so we're kind of at the edge of this area here. Um, nine, let's see, does that say 900? Yeah. All right, let's see if there's some more that is within the bounds. We'll just get one or two more maybe. There's a convoy, <coughs> a faction guard, here's some more ore. Oh, a minerals asteroid. Let's go get that. Just seeing if that was anything we could target, but apparently not. Yeah, and if you hit C and cut your engines, you can turn much faster. Okay, there's a pirate. We don't necessarily want to... There was the mineral, minerals. Actually, this is kind of on the edge, too. We might be able to get some of these. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's see. an ore asteroid that one's too far that one's gonna be too far that one's not that one maybe yeah we're up to 325 ore <coughs> yeah. but without finding a place that takes ore we're not going to be able to get very much for it. Not a place that takes it, a place that has demand. I think the places that have um, basically the facilities to turn it into fuel processing plants or whatever, those are the stations that offer more for your ore. And that's what we were, of course, trying to get to before when we just got obliterated. I've learned some more tricks now in combat, but I still think without upgrading our ship, we're probably not going to successfully make that journey. Ooh, there's some fighting going on over there. We're just about at 400 ore. Oh, secure cargo. So maybe this is stuff. If there was something you really wanted to 
hold on to like rare gases let's say and electronic components see we put some stuff in our secure cargo so even if we got even if we got uh, destroyed, I bet secure cargo holds over. So you're not going to be able to keep ore in there because ore takes up way too much space. It's got weight to it. But uh, smaller items, maybe like our, we should have had our uh, salvage beam in there. And then we wouldn't have had to worry about, perhaps, uh, when we were defeated, get losing it. So we're going to go back to RNF station. And we're going to see what, if anything, we can unload for a little bit of cash there. Um, our wallet is still showing the same amount so I'm not sure if the pirate killer mission that we completed is actually going to reward us with anything if we have to go back to RNF station to collect on our reward we'll find out here shortly I believe <clears throat> so this game is it's just really you know it's it's actually hard for me to express exactly what it is that keeps me coming back I'm um, it's just intriguing I think you know even though all the systems aren't put in even though there's still bugs uh, and there's you know you feel somewhat limited in what you can do but you know some of that is just I haven't put enough time in to probably discover many things um, just because you you know it just because it's in pre-release and you don't see a lot to do that may be on you, or in this case, it may be on me that I'm not seeing those things to do because I haven't found them. I haven't explored enough. You know, I haven't looked for missions on other stations to see what other types of missions there are. Um, you know, so I mean, but even with all that being said, and in my experiences with all that, I keep coming back to it. It's, it's in some ways, it's a it's a little bit of a relaxing game because a lot of it is just exploring space and uh, trying to figure out some of these systems and. Um, but the combat, I think, is really exciting. I'm, ex I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some, uh, you know, capability of having some launchers and trying to actually build up my ship a little bit, getting it stronger so that I can go into the yellow and even red territories where you're just going to have a lot more combat both against AI but even player, other players, you know, with combat. So, um, <coughs> I don't know. I just... I'm still really, really enjoying my time in uh, Entropy. If there's one thing I could change, it might be the title. Just because I'm very self-conscious about am I saying the name of the game correctly, and I believe it is Entropy. Um, but it obviously makes you want to say, wait, is it Entropy? Uh, or, you know, other variants of what I think is called Entropy. get some decent credits here I'd like to be able to go ahead and purchase our first module to really improve our ship but we will see and then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up here after we um, figure out some things here at the station but um, all right so let's go again there's nothing showing up in our mission journal I think it's clear that we did complete that mission. Um, it says 5,000 credits. So all we got for that was 5,000 credits. And yeah, it's very possible that, that we have gotten credit for that. All right, so let's look at let's look at our cargo hold here, and let's look at the marketplace. All right, so I don't have any orders. Let's look at are there goods? Uh, fine wines and spirits. 
trader is selling it for a thousand ninety. We have two counts. Demand. It says there's demand for that. Okay, so that's actually what we need to do then. We need to click on here. All right, let's let's look at our wallet. Let's, see, let's have our wallet up. All right, while it's up here, one six eight three zero eight. Now we have fine wines and spirits. Let's sell two for two thousand seventy one. Boom. Okay. Now let's see what else do we have? Fuel. Starship fuel. They're offering five seventy five. No, that's not what we have. We have ore. Sorry. Okay, so let's look here though. Um Aronoff trading traders not selling fuel, he's selling refined fuel. So if users are selling fuel here, 600 is the cheapest you can buy fuel, and there's 86 of them. All right, let's look at. It's not going to be module. Okay, common materials. Common gases. We have rare gases. Those are not. Those are not being. Uh, there's no demand for those here. Now we have common metals nine. We're, okay, so we're not getting very much for these, but they're common metals, so I wouldn't, I would, I would not assume that we're going to get a lot for them. Only 86, so very little. Uh, common chemicals. Now people are selling common metals up here for way more than what the vendor is offering to buy them for. Alright, common chemicals. They're not even asking for them here. Alright, or he's selling these at 250 per. 250 per for ore. So let's drop some ore in here. Um, price. Let's sell them for 150 quantity oh let's sell let's sell 200 that way okay we still have some more left but we sold some all right let's search for a machine machine parts all right, he is selling these one for two thousand. So let's try to sell one. Let's sell them for five hundred each, and we've got two to sell. Okay, common chemicals. Nothing and electronic components nothing and rare gases nothing are there any kind of gases raw gases but these are definitely rare <coughs> okay So I think what we're going to do here, how many could we put in there? Is there a way to split them up? Hmm. I don't know what there is. I think what we'll do here is put our ore in our warehouse, which that almost fills it up and we'll put these down here just for safekeeping now let's go shopping here modules offensive oh I'm just curious here a salvage beam 
is 90,000. So if we want to get a salvage beam back, it's going to cost us 90,000. Railgun? Is that what we have? No, we have railgun clip. Okay. So let's look over here. What would be the first thing we would want to get? What if we wanted to get a launcher of some sort? Um, weapons. Okay. Can't sort. Alright. We only have 168,000. Homing missile, 225,000. Rapid fire guide, 225,000. Guided missile launcher. All right, let's go to catalog and see what the guided, is that what it was? Guided missile launcher. Guided missile launcher. Enemy ship must be locked and in range to order to launch a missile. Missiles, guided missiles require continuous guidance information from the firing ship. Once launched, the firing ship must maintain a lock on the target to guide the missile to it. So they do not require complex self guidance systems. Guided missiles have more powerful warheads and longer ranges. Guided missile packs. The base reload time is 20 seconds. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and buy one of these. Um, and we're gonna need guided missile packs. Okay, so guided missile is 90,000. Let's make sure that's what we really want here. Yes, it is. All right, guided missile, 90,000. 94,000 is what it's gonna cost us. All right. Now, we also need guided missile packs. Um, munitions, launcher, guided missile pack. Bye. Let's get three packs now let's go ahead and we're down to 60,000 credits let's go ahead and look at the market warehouse and we'll put this and this into our cargo hold and let's open up our modules and take out our mining beam and stall oh Okay, cannot use it on this ship. Okay. It's okay. We probably need to start thinking about switching to our other ship anyway. Now that we understand fuel a little better, but we are going to have to earn credits to afford fuel. Alright, so let's go to our hangar. Fury. Select ship. Let's open up our modules on our Fury. Sometimes that glitches. Let's open up our modules on our Fury. There we go. Oh, it's all in the wrong cargo hold. We'll figure this out eventually. Hangar. Select ship. Cargo hold. It's not what we want. Not what we want. <laughs> That's what we want. Now the problem is we're almost full here. We might be able to fit these things in here though. Oh no, we're not. Okay. So what we actually do need to do, go to the hangar, 
<clears throat> select ship cargo hold or laser cannon laser cannon okay switch back to the auger cargo hold warehouse Mining beam, <clears throat> guided missile launcher, guided missile pack, rare gases, common chemicals, hangar, select ship, modules, modules. Guided missile launcher. Mining beam. Um, cargo hold. Laser cannon. Laser cannon. And guided missile pack secure cargo or warehouse electronic components secure cargo and rare gases secure cargo common chemicals secure cargo or we're gonna keep it the warehouse for now alright undock let's see if we can load our missiles <coughs> And this is the last thing we'll do before ending the video, is look at how to load our missile launcher. Alright, we're back in the old ship. The Fury. Okay, so we'll press Alt so that we can use our mouse to change things. Um, right click. load immediately or we just hit I just I guess we just left clicked on it okay so now it's loading it so let's see how many one pack how many missiles one pack puts in it you see we have two packs left because it's installing one so one pack gives us five missiles all right And this shows you mouse, this is the left mouse button to fire these. And this is right mouse button to fire these. Maximum range 1500 and it requires continuous target lock. Uh, target lock. And we've got our missiles and our secure cargo, so even if we die, they should still be there. All right, so now we are good to go. We can go, um, next time we play here, we can go do some more mining. Um, maybe do another pirate mission and uh, possibly even save up and get a salvage beam so we can just be more efficient once we're, while we're out there getting, um, collecting resources and maybe start venturing out a little further now that we understand more of how things work in terms of um, cargo and dying and selling and buying and all that. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching and this has been uh, another episode with M-Dog looking at uh, Entropy.